uh, we have talked about the signal generator scope and the multimeter. The last one is power supply. Not very difficult, but the tricky thing is how to do the connection. Okay, let's see. Uh, on and off, nothing to talk about. And remember, we have two voltages, up to two, V1 and V2. When you're tuning the V1 value here, you need to press the V1 button here so that the meter, which is up here, can show the V1 voltage and the current. I mean, when you tune in here, you, how could you know what voltage you are output supply? You need to read, right? Read out of the meter here. However, you have two voltage. Which one is, is it is displaying here? It's up to which button here you are pressing. You press in V1, and then here the, the displayed voltage and uh, ampere current are for V1. You press V2 here, and displayed are for V2. Okay, remember this, which one you are using, which one you are tuning is, you need to be able to see it okay, by press these two meter button. And uh, here is also very important. Okay? Don't underestimate these two indicator lights. They are the overload lights. Whenever the light here is on, it means V1 is overloaded. If this light on, it means V2 is overloaded. The power supply is trying to source the voltage as well as the current. But what does it mean by overload? Can anyone uh, tell me what does it mean by your power voltage supply is overload? What, what does it mean? Let me ask this easier question. Is it good or bad? Not good. Not good. Absolutely not good. Okay, it's absolutely not good. Even seeing the light is on, what do you need to do then? Even if you ask me, and then what am I going to do then? Let me ask this this way. Probably turn it off, right? You turn it off. Okay, here. Go here. Okay, turn it off. It's a very easy logic. Okay, you see the overload light on, you need to turn it off to check the connection somewhere wrong. Because this lab is low voltage, low power lab. Low power lab, if you seeing overload, then that, that means what? Generally speaking. Anyone can guess what's the reason for overload? This is the regarding some uh, experience if you have ever designed or built a circuit before. If you see overload lights on, then, then what's the reason possibly? There's what? Short circuit, which is introducing big current. That big current is introducing overload. And this is the uh, what generally speaking happening. Short circuit, then obviously you want to turn off the power supply. Okay? And also check the uh, connection somewhere wrong. This is the overload light that matter, absolutely matters. And then next, let's read the output. Positive, negative, positive, negative. As I said, one is V1, the other is V2. This is very easy. And here is the ground of the uh, power supply. Uh, and also here is telling you is can give you up to uh, 25 volts. Uh, current is just up to one ampere. It's not a lot of uh, power. So now let's do a exercise, okay? Because back to the lab instruction here, you have a connection exercise. What this circuit is and how it works, we don't need to worry about for now. It's open circuit. And uh, what we need to do today is, this open is active device, which requires two power supplies, positive 15 and negative 15. How to do this connection on your notebook? You can draw this. Positive 15 supply. You also need negative 15 supply. What is how to do this connection? Because this open on your circuit, the real thing is just a, a small chip. And this pin is for you to receive positive 15 volts. 
This is to receive 90, 15 volts. This pin seven, this pin four. This is a, this is a chip, of course, up to eight legs. And then you have power supply here, labeled here as one, this is two, three, four, and a five. Tell me the seven here gonna go to which one? And the pin four here gonna go to which one? And also the rest of the terminal here go to where? Let's say P7, this is a P4. P7 goes to where? P4 goes to where? All right, uh, any thoughts? Uh, P7 goes to where? Anyone knows? Uh, either one or four. Either one or four, okay. Let's just choose one. Okay. This answer is basically correct. So goes to one, let's just choose one. P7 goes one. P4 goes where? Two. Well, not quite right. In that case, would you use three and ground it? You're talking about P4, right? Uh, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, the grounded no is not right either. Uh, keep thinking, keep thinking. Or anyone has any other choice? Uh, the only thing that I'm thinking, I could be wrong, is connecting ports 2 and 3, and then connecting P4 to that. No, actually, this mistake is basically because, so everyone, actually, you want to listen to this. So when you see a positive 15 and a negative 15 to voltage required, they are means two different voltages, right? Therefore, your power supply is providing what V1 and the V2, two as well. So positive 15 should be provided by V1 and a negative 15 should be provided by V2. Does this make sense? Yeah. Yep, if this makes sense, then go ahead to keep thinking further. Okay. Yeah, this is a very, very critical concept. The positive 15 and negative 15 means two different voltage. They have same magnitude. You should understand them in such way. They are not the same voltage with opposite polarity. No, no, no. There are two different voltages. Okay. This is very important. So you can map the negative 15 volts to V2. But, you have to. It's yeah. not like you can. It's, you have to. Therefore, P4 goes to. I'm kind of confused on four and four. I don't know what the plus and minus for V2 mean. Can you like adjust the voltage to be negative? No, no. Or did no, you, no. so then it connect to five then? Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. And also, very good question from Matteo. Uh, he asked me. Well, is your power supply able to go from positive, say, 25 to the negative 25? It's a very good question, okay, everyone. A very critical question. The power supply cannot do that. Okay, the power supply, remember, cannot go below zero, become a negative a polarity for you. To achieve negative sign, you have to flip to the polarity from the terminal. That's why P4 to receive negative 15, it has to go where? Number five. So one concept we, I have emphasized is positive and negative 15 volts are two different voltages. Therefore, out of V1 and V2 respectively. Second thing is you need to remember voltage is and always is a concept of two terminals. Voltage means the voltage potential difference between two terminals. It never goes with just a one terminal thing, no. Uh, therefore, the positive and the negative 15 volts 
are with respect to what? In other words, who are their second terminal then? Does that make sense? Here is 15, no problem. But where is the second terminal then? What is it? Anyone knows? Ground. Very good. It's just a ground. Once again, positive 15 volts is a voltage potential difference between what? Between here and the ground with such polarity. Also to negative 15, this is negative 15 with respect to what, where? Ground as well, exactly. Therefore the ground here and ground here need to be same ground, shorted. They must be same ground. And if this makes sense, how to do this connection? Anyone knows how to do this connection? My question is, uh, now how we make these two grounds shorted? In other words, how to do the rest of the connection here? Because the terminal here, two through four, well, they are not open, okay? They should not be open, they need to be connected. So how to make these two grounds shorted? Uh, wouldn't you connect two, three, and four together? Uh, excellent. Uh, very good. Very good. You are connecting these two shorted. Two and the four shorted means nothing but here. And then they both shorted with the three means, okay, unify them with power supply ground. When it, in the case of like two and four, um, aren't they like automatically grounded for some power supplies? Right, I always see this odd number of terminals. How you understand this is this. First, a pair of positive and negative is one differential output. The ground is floating, waiting for you to determine. So the negative is not representing the ground. It's floating. Same thing to this pair of positive and negative. So in this particular case, you are having a positive negative 15 output. You are having a okay, positive negative also 15 volts. What do you want to do is this is the you need out of V1 is positive 15. What you need out of V2 is negative 15, right? So what do you do? You do this, this, ground, this is the ground of your positive 15. Short it was here. This positive of the 15, short it was here. Therefore, this number five terminal here is a negative 15 output. Does it make some uh, sense? Yeah, I think it makes more sense. All right, good. Uh, this is the power supply. This is uh, one exercise.